Hey everybody, uh, this is part of the All Together Now stewardship uh, campaign and for parents and caregivers and grandparents and kids, this is especially for you. Uh, so we're gonna talk about Sunday school and religious education and uh, family time and community fellowship today. And with me of course is Lindsay Dunn. Hi Woo! everybody. Yeah. So the first thing we want to say is how much we've missed you and yes. your smiling faces. And we try to be in touch this year, but we know everybody's been overwhelmed with Zoom and online school and this and the other thing. Um, but we miss you. Yeah. Yes. Um. <laughs> Incredibly so. I can't even imagine how many all of how much all of you have changed in the time that we've been apart. But I'm so so looking forward for us to have the chance to be back together again soon. Yeah. So today we want to tell you what's coming up uh, this year as we get back together. Um, so that's why we're outside, because uh, when we come back together sometime this summer in person, uh, the Sunday School program um, is going to be outside. And you're going to come here, and we're going to turn this way. So you see, there's the building right there. And there's the, um, anyway, there's the building, there's the parking lot. So you come down here, um, and tell me about what's planned for our little ones and our older ones. Yeah, well, as Matthew said, we'll primarily try to be outside so we can stay unmasked and as socially distanced as much as we can. And we've got these beautiful grounds that are just here waiting for us to explore anyway. So we might as well capitalize on our opportunity and um, see what we can explore this summer. So we'll gather and have a, a usual opening, you know, a chalice lighting and a check-in and um, maybe talk about the theme or um, read a book together and try to bring some of the ritual that grounded us before we were all um, in the lockdown. Um, and then, <laughs> and then um, you know, take advantage, like I said, of the grounds. So maybe that day might include a, a hike or um, an exploration of the prairie. We might focus on noticing different insects one day. We might focus on noticing different plants another day. Um, I've got microscopes and all sorts of fun things that I can bring with us too. So we're hoping that um, the weather will cooperate and that we can all, um, you know, find a safe way to gather outside. Yeah, and one of the cool things is that uh, Lindsay and Lauren Smith, um, who co-runs the Woodsong program, have both got a lot of experience with nature education. Because <laughs> yes. they've been doing this with two-year-olds um, for three years now, right? Four years. Um, so we're used to that um, and going out and, and checking out the woods. Um, and here's the, the playground for the little ones, which is where the little ones were gather. And then the, the bigger ones down there, the fire pit, which is behind Lindsay, you can see back there. Uh, probably the gathering place. Uh, what else do we have planned this coming year? Well, it's hard to know how everything is going to go with our numbers and the community metrics and things like that. But our biggest hope is that we can um, provide the Our Whole Lives sexuality education programming for, um, actually it's every age group that it's available for is um, scheduled to have it this year. So <laughs> for some grades, um, for some age groups, that's a year long program. For some, it's, you know, six or eight weeks. Um, but we're hoping that um, things will be in our favor and we can get, get that programming to everybody who um, would be eligible for it this year because we just think it's so, so important and we value um, being able to provide that here. Um, and, you know, we may have some, might be lucky enough that we can have some community family events. If, if the weather is good in the fall, we could think about maybe having our bonfire again, or just doing some family nature walks here on the grounds that the kids are getting familiar with. They could come, you know, show show off all their knowledge to their loved right. ones that might want to enjoy the grounds too, or, you know, just trying to reimagine um, new ways of doing some of the things that have brought us together in the past. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're, we're going to train some religious naturalists um, out here. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. And uh, if your kids grow up to be a religious naturalist, then uh, we'll take credit for that. We'll be pretty excited <laughs> about that. That's right. um, and, uh, you know, that deep familiarity with the place. Um, and so we're equipped to do that. Right? We have the staff to do it. Um, we have the grounds to do it. Um, and we need to, to keep everybody safe, which is great. But the one other thing we'll definitely need to make this work is, of course, volunteers. Yes. Um, so Lindsay, you want to tell us about what kind of what you're looking for for volunteers? Sure. Um, is our best guess is that we'll be able to um, split the children that attend on a Sunday for religious education into two age groups. So one would be all of the kids that are in kindergarten and under, and the other group would be all of the kids that are in first grade and older. Um, so we 
you know, I will be here and Lauren Smith will be here. And then we would need at least two other um, nature loving outdoor enthusiasts <laughs> right. who might want to volunteer with us um, every Sunday. Um, so even if folks are only able to say that they're available one Sunday a month, that would really help us a lot. Yeah. Um, as particularly if there is something that you are passionate about that exists here on the grounds or that could easily be incorporated into what we you know do and talk about here on the grounds if you love native plants or if you have a really awesome insect collection or um know all about animal tracks or um you know have the biggest best feather collection anyone could ever hope for anything like that would be really wonderful to you know, augment what we already have going for us here, but it would just definitely, um, you know, bring more life to that. And for young children to see enthusiasm and passion for something um, in an adult is just, it's, uh, you can't put a price on that. So it would be, a, you know, just a really special thing for you to share your, you know, your little thing that you are super excited about with our kids. And again, right. maybe we'll spark some conservationists or something. <laughs> Absolutely, that'd be great. You know, and one of the goals of the religious education program is, you know, key goal is to help the children develop their theological, spiritual, ethical lives, right? Yes. To be good citizens. But one thing is we want them to know that they're adults who are, they're not related to, who love them and care about them. And so if you're an RE volunteer, you're part of that. A message. So we need folks who can be out here on a hot day and hike around with kids. Um, and if you're game for that, let Lindsay know. Uh, we've got a few people already, but we can't begin again in person until we have enough volunteers. So let her know if you're interested. Um, and your donations to the church, your generosity in the upcoming stewardship campaign make all of this possible. They pay Lindsay's salary and Warren's salary. They keep our grounds uh, in good shape. Mm -hmm. They pay for all the supplies we have and we can't do without you. So thank you for your help. Um, and we can't wait to see and hear your little voices <laughs> yes. um, out here as soon as possible. Stay safe, everybody. Yes. Uh, be well. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>